In this video, I will show you how to create this effect only using Kine Master. So first of all, you need to create a project and here import your video. Then I will delete the useless parts of the video which I don't really need. Now find a part where the scope opens. So after the scope opens totally you have to select the video then split the video here. Now I am going to increase the speed of the video which is at the left side. So to do that you need to select the clip and then click on speed. I am going to increase it by 1.4. We have to find another point on the video where we are firing the gun and if you look carefully when you fire the gun the scope goes in upward direction so you have to stop the video before it goes up and there you need to select the clip and then split the video. Now as you can see here the duration of this clip is around 0.3 seconds. We have to make it 0.4 so for that you need to decrease the speed. By the way if the clip is already around 0.4 seconds then you don't have to increase or decrease the speed and if your clip is longer than 4 seconds then you may have to increase the speed a little bit. Now after that I will select this clip. So after the shot I will split the video again and select the last clip and here I will decrease the speed to around 0.5. If the frame rate of your video is lower than 60 then I don't really recommend you to decrease the speed so much. So if you have adjusted the speed of your video correctly it should look something like this. Now export this video and create a new project. Here import that exported video. Then you have to extract the audio of this clip if you have gun sound in your video. So I will just cut out this audio file and then keep it at the side for now. Now you have to stop the video where the scope opens to its maximum size. And here select the video. Then split the video. Now find another part where the scope goes up before the shot. So before it goes up you have to stop the video there and then split the video. Now select this clip which is at the center. Duplicate this clip as a layer. Now you have to add two marks in your video so watch carefully where I am adding those marks. So after the first split you have to add a mark here and another will be here. So these are the two marks which I have added. Now select this layer and then select cropping. In cropping you have to enable mask and then from shape you have to choose the circle shape. After that cut the video from the sides. And then increase the feather, make it 50. Now we have to animate the layer, so for that you need to select it and then select animation. Now by default there will be a keyframe at the beginning, so come at the beginning and then resize this layer. Try to match the size of this layer with the background layer. In this way you can actually check if the size is matching with the background. Now after matching the size you have to select the layer again and select animation. Now come at the second mark and here add a keyframe. Now you have to add another keyframe at the third mark. Then come back to the second mark and here you have to increase the size of this layer. Then come here at the third mark. And in the third mark you have to decrease the size, make it around this much smaller. Now come here at the end of this video and add a keyframe here. 
here you have to increase the size and if you have followed all the steps correctly it should look something like this now you have to find a part in the video before the scope opens and here you have to select this icon here and select capture and add as a layer so it should capture the screen and add it as a layer now resize this and try to match it with the other layer then using the split screen option you have to increase the size of this layer and fit it in the screen now select the layer and from here select send to back now we are going to add that blur effect so for that you need to click on layers then select effects and you have to download this focus blur effect try to match the size of this layer with the other layers now after that you need to select the layer and come at the second mark where the scope gets smaller so here you have to increase the size of this blur so that it can cover the full screen now after that go to settings and here I will keep the smoothness around 1 and 2 and then you have to decrease the radius so that only this part of the scope is visible then I will increase the strength a little bit then we are going to animate this so click on the layer and select animation now add a keyframe at this second mark and then you have to add a keyframe at the first mark also then stay at this keyframe and change the size of this layer to match it with the scope after that come at the starting and again resize the layer so that it can match with the scope if you have adjusted the size of the layer at every keyframe correctly then it should look something like this now we have to add one more keyframe at the end and again resize the layer so we have successfully added the blur effect now only one more effect is left and also we have to add sounds you can download the sound effects which I am using here from the description below and also I am going to increase the strength a little more of this blur After adding the sound effects we are going to add that animated bar so for that you need to click on layer and import this image then match the duration of this layer with the other layers and then increase the size of it it should not be visible and also don't forget to align it at the center using the red lines now we are going to animate this so click on the animation icon and add a keyframe here then make the layer smaller so that some part of it becomes visible and also don't forget to align it at the center now come here at the starting as you can see here I've increased the size too much in the beginning so I'm going to decrease it now we have to add one more keyframe at the ending Here in this keyframe you have to increase the size of this layer so that it goes out of the screen. So we have added all the necessary effects. Now there is one thing which I changed later. In the third keyframe of the video layer I rotated the video in one direction. So if you want that rotation effect you can rotate it in the third keyframe. 
and that's all for this video hope it was helpful and thanks for watching